Cecilia Volkman's issues with solar panels started nearly a decade ago when a salesman showed up at her door. I just lost my husband and he was had been really interested in solar panels. So when they came to the door, I took it as a sign that I should listen. Offering to lower her energy bill without any worry for her. They do a roof inspection, make sure everything is good because for the 20 year contract, while their panels are up, they take care of your roof. Then a few years later, she started noticing issues with her ceiling. So I started noticing some, a little bit of staining in the living room and in the hallway. Eventually turning into bigger problems, prompting Volkman to contact Tesla, who bought the company who put the panels on Cecilia's roof, Solar City, back in 2016. They told me I had only one year to report any leaks and that I was out of luck. On the first page of the contract, it says there's a warranty against leaks and they'll repair the roof once they're done. Digging deeper, you can see the fine print that says these leaks have to be reported within a year from installation. While battling back and forth with Tesla, she had someone seal the holes in the roof that they could reach. So they, it either didn't work or they, they couldn't get everything and it just continued to get worse over time. Then she decided to have the solar panels removed, Tesla sealing up the holes in her roof and the panels sitting in her garage. At this point now I have damage in four rooms and I have to get my roof fixed one way or another. So I had the panels pulled off. She says Tesla was giving her issues, so she reached out to us. Since you've reached out to them, is the first time they ever contacted me and said, well, wait, someone you misunderstood or someone misinformed you and we're going to look into it. Now Volkman is in a waiting period with Tesla as a sealant protects her damaged roof from leaks, kicking herself for not reading the contract fully. If I had sat and read on his little tablet, the however many 40 page contract, I wouldn't have signed it. She isn't alone. According to Jeff Sovern with the University of Maryland, people usually don't read or understand the consumer contracts they're signing. And if they don't understand something, they should ask the seller, the provider, what it means and see what they say. Although, if it comes to a conflict between what the provider says and what the contract says, the courts will usually go with what the contracts say. The best practice is to read the fine print and to understand it isn't likely you can get out of the deal once the paper is signed. If you discover a problem down the road, if there's fraud, if there's a problem with the quality, the only way to get out of it is often going to be litigation. And that's expensive, it's time consuming, consuming and it's scary. Cecilia's problem may be resolved by Tesla. The company is still working on her claim, but it's a cautionary tale for anyone to read the fine print and know what you're getting into. With a Matter for Mallory, I'm Jeff Morgan. I hope you enjoyed that Matter for Mallory. To watch more Matter for Mallory stories, click the box in the corner and be sure to tap that circle and subscribe to WMAR2 News for quick access to great content posted every day.